Hey, what's going on guys? Code Mikeykins here. In this video, we're going to be implementing quests and search serving the purpose of getting rid of the horizon effect produced by the Nigamax search with alphabet of Pranin. So the idea is to search only captures until we reach the quiet position and then we can safely return the static evaluation for that position and that would actually be serving as the score uh, of the current given move. So without further ado, let's actually start writing some code. So the very first thing to consider, uh, I would like to run my quiescence search uh, here, quiescence search, instead of returning the, eva the static evaluation directly. So I just want to return the quiescence and I'm sending the alpha and beta scores to it. And now we need to define our quiescent search here. So this would be the static inline integer quiescence taking alpha and beta scores. And the code for quiescence is pretty much the same like within the alpha beta, but with with, with some minor uh, differences. So. I just want to grab starting from where we create in the move list instance and ending up uh, ending up here where the loop over the moves actually ends. We don't need this checkmate stuff and assigning the best move as well. And so let's just try to paste this in. Okay, and we don't need well uh, at the very end. Don't forget to return alpha like this so here we have the a node that fails low let me just copy this commentary as well okay we don't need to associate best move here well we would actually be collecting principal variation here as well not only in the Ningamax search but within the questions as well okay also I want to call I want to call quiescence here, but getting rid of the depth. Also, I want to make only captures instead of all moves. And the very last thing to consider is I just want to define the condition for escaping from this recursive function. So the first thing we need to uh, evaluate position so just just uh, getting the static evaluation so I'll create the variable called eval uh, or, or let's say evaluation like this and it would be equal evaluate and that's it and now in order to write the actual escape condition I want to reuse this alpha beta logic of either beta cutoffs with a fail hard framework or uh, alpha increases finding some uh, principal variation nodes. So the only difference is that now we're dealing with our evaluation score and this is it. So let's try to compile and run the code and test this within our GUI. So I just want to say make debug and if it compiles I want to run the BBC binary executable. Okay, score undeclared. 2413. 24. Oh, sorry. Alpha equals to evaluation, obviously. And also we need to get rid of the legal moves because, well, at least at the very basic implementation, we don't really need them. So just getting rid of those legal moves counter. Okay. And already starting from this point, uh, this should actually be uh, able of providing our quiz and search logic. Well, well, at least I hope so. So I just compile this for uh, with 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 some uh, minus o fast optimization flex just to make it uh, faster. And now let's go to. where our arena GUI executable lives and run the arena GUI. So I just want to update 
the command line uh, source, uh, command line path to, to the binary executable, so it's no longer checkmate and stalemate detection, but here within the quiescence, so open, and it should now work, really. And also, let's adjust the levels to one half move. So, so as you can remember from the previous part, is it was kind of giving the pieces away, and now it shouldn't be doing that. So, let's try to see. Yeah. So now it already plays kind of reasonable moves without giving its pieces away. So it's already like like a normal move. Well, uh, obviously it doesn't see some tactics and things like that, but at least it doesn't. Uh, give uh, he is not giving queens away and things like that, which is already uh, uh, <laughs> a small little victory here. Well, okay, guys, so I guess this is it for this tutorial. And starting from the next video, I guess we would go for implementing the very basic move ordering techniques, but probably before that, we'll create some helper functions. Mm, and you know, like the way I do move ordering uh, would probably receive really lots of critics, especially from the experts from talkchess.com forum, because uh, the way I do it is probably a little bit slower compared to how normal people do that. But the way I do uh, this serves the didactic purposes, and instead of Mm, having a vague understanding of how in particular this move order ordering is happening like when the first part of move, move ordering goes to move to the move generator part uh, where moves is, are getting scored within the add move function like uh, say in uh, vice chess engine by bluefever software and the other part like sorted moves like both in vice or tscp is like the moves are getting sorted on the fly within the main loop over the moves here I'll just show you uh, right over in here people used to sort moves yeah this is faster but when I was when, when I just kick started with chess programming it was incredibly difficult for me to understand like where is the move ordering basically like tell me guys like tell me where is the move ordering so in order to uh, avoid this confusions I would go for a separate uh, implementation like modular imp implementation of the move ordering itself and it would be incredibly easy to like pick up some code and say like this is move ordering this this is not a move ordering but basically obviously but uh, ju just to give you an idea so i just really want to make this move ordering as straightforward as possible even though like it would be suffering from a slight disadvantage uh regarding performance but still this clarity uh, is worth that and later on we would have been uh would have been improving uh all the things along the way so well at least at this uh, uh, at this particular time uh, at this development state of this BBC chess engine as how I'm writing this like I'm writing uh, I'm adding a few features and then I'm just going for recording some videos so at this state it plays for about nine flights nine flies depth in for about two or three seconds which is quite pretty not bad at all so this uh, uh, slight uh, performance uh, drop uh, is not going to make that great impact, but the clarity that we'll get uh, from that idea behind that way of doing move ordering uh, would be really significant. And I wish I could have an implementation like the one I'm going to share with you guys when I just started learning, l learning move ordering, because uh, when I just started, it was incredibly difficult for me to understand like why on earth it's going to the move generator code so uh as i as i promised you we would be uh, going the modular way so the modular approach is uh like move ordering is something that regards the search not the move generation so we would be doing this directly within the search so that's the core idea well, okay guys so this is it from my side thanks for watching i hope you learned something interesting out of this tutorial hope to see you in the next video so until then and take care